So I want to talk to you a minute about your brain, all right? I don't know a lot about the brain. I'm not like a brain chemist, a brain surgeon, a brain anything. I just have read some stuff. And there's something in your brain called the amygdala or the amygdala. Depends on who you, who you talk to. It's your reptile brain. It's the part of your brain that was used for fight or flight. It's very handy, very handy when we were out on the Serengeti running for our lives from a big tiger or something like that. And it you kept us alive, the amygdala, the amygdala, the reptilian brain. So look at it here, let me show you. All right, so here it is, this thing right here. Let me read a little bit about it from uh, Wikipedia. The, in complex vertebrates, including humans, the amygdala performs primary roles in the formation of storage memories associated to emo with emotional events. Uh, let's see. Research indicates that during fear conditioning, sensory stimuli reach the bio, uh, basal lateral complexes of the amygdala, particularly the, okay, so there you go. Memories of emotional experiences imprinted in the reaction of the synapses in the lateral nuclei elicit fear behavior through connections. All right, so this is all, but the central nuclei are involved in the genesis of many fear responses, including freezing, immobility, rapid heartbeat, increased respiration, and stress hormone release. Check out this article right here. This is an article uh, talking about the reptilian brain. Additionally, when you are experiencing fear, your entire body goes into fight or flight mode. All your blood is redirected to the parts that are needed for fight or flight, your heart, lungs, muscles, and reptilian brain. The rest of your brain is left with only enough blood to keep it on idle, which means that you have no capability for rational or creative thought. It's all black or white, yes or no, fight or flight, good or evil. In this state, you do not have the ability to think of alternative solutions to the situation. You only have two choices, run or fight. Totally handy when you're being chased by a tiger, barracuda, I don't know, something dangerous. You better either run or fight it because that's it. But you know what? That's not what we use it for anymore. We use it for like uh, when your boss is mad at you or your wife is mad at you or your husband is mad at you or, or you are afraid you're going to lose your job or you, you know, you're just generally stressed out. This, this, this amygdala, which was supposed to be used in just really emergency situations and, and you know, once every few days or weeks even, is being used over and over and over again in contemporary current day society. It's being used all wrong. So like when you get afraid, you get afraid, you know, we all get afraid. It's your, it's your reptilian brain trying to transfer modern day society with what it was supposed to be used for when you were trying to be attacked by a tiger. It's all messed up. And you experience this multiple times every single day. You might experience it within 10 minutes of waking up. You experience it all the time. And then all you do is you think black, white, yes, no, fight, flight, good, evil. That's it. Your, your body can't, can't think rationally. Everything shuts down because it's in survival mode. You can't think clearly. You can't act clearly. You can't do anything rational. Fear-based decisions are all based on wrong assumptions of the world because it's your amygdala, your reptilian brain. When you're afraid, it's your reptilian brain that is firing there. It's not your rationality. It's not what is, 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 is best about you, your cerebral cortex. It's your reptilian brain scaring the crap out of you because it thinks that your wife or husband is a tiger. Your boss is some sort of like buffalo charging at you. It's crazy. So think about it. These are things that are affecting us in day-to-day -day life that we need to consider. And once we understand that, then we can truly understand how to deal with fear.